Ja, hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge zu Fire Emblem Engage. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja, moin Leute, ne? Und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Fire Emblem Engage. Ja, beim letzten Mal haben wir Emblem Mikaya besiegt. War eine relativ einfache Schlacht tatsächlich, also von einem Emblem ungefähr, würde ich sagen, eine der Top 3, die am einfachsten waren. Also, es gab ja den einen oder anderen, der richtig schwer war und der andere war richtig einfach. Und der Emblem Mikaya war halt sehr einfach. Nichtsdestotrotz, heute haben wir Kapitel 20 vor uns. Es geht weiter mit der Story. Ich bin schon gespannt, wie es weitergeht. Ob unsere eine Todfeindin endlich ihre gerechte Strafe bekommt, weil sie einfach zwei Ringe verloren hat. Und ob es weh gut geht. Aber vorher gibt es natürlich wie immer für euch erstmal Bandgespräche bzw. Unterstützungsgespräche und über mir ist ein Zeitstempel, wenn ihr diese überspringen wollt. Und ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns dann jetzt gleich in der Schlacht wieder. You look tired. If there's something dragging you down, you can tell me. I'm a good listener. I still hesitate sometimes in battle because I'm so inexperienced. Then I second guess myself afterward, thinking of all the things I should have done instead. Don't worry about making mistakes. You have friends, and me, to guide you through them. That hair of yours, it's the color of a fine chili pepper. I wonder if it tastes as fiery as it looks. My hair looks like a chili pepper. Thank you, I guess. Let me know if anything is weighing you down, okay? I bet you've got your share of worries. That's very kind, Pandreo. But everyone here is so thoughtful. I find I'm completely at ease. If we had alpacas on our team, we would never lose. Think you could help me train a few, Lin? I've never thought of recruiting alpacas. I guess they could be quite powerful under the fluff. This world must seem so confusing to you and your fellow emblems. If I can ever help, I shall. How considerate. Thank you, Citrine. I might take you up on that. Louis, hey, hi! Hello there, Yonaka. Have you had a windfall of some sort? Your smile is especially radiant. Oh, gross. Cut the sweet talk before I start puking rainbows. Listen, I got you something. Just a little thank you. Look, look, look! Oh my! One look is enough to tell me that these tea leaves are very fine indeed. I expected nothing less from the master. You've used so many leaves on me. I'm worried you'll be a tealess husk if I don't give back. So, I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept the donation. It's for a good cause. I am all too happy to accept your gracious gift. I believe I'll brew them right away. You're welcome to join me, of course. Are you sure? I don't want you thinking I got you tea just so you'd brew it for me. Tea is better with two. I enjoy our bracing conversations almost as much as the tea. Right. Conversations. I do enjoy chatting with you. So much so, I kind of worry I might slip up. Meaning? Huh? Um, oh, I just remembered. I have a thing. Uh, a thing I gotta do or else, um, yeah, so next time. Oh, that is unfortunate. I confess I was looking forward to spending the whole time talking about myself. You were, uh, planning to spend the whole time talking my ear off about yourself, huh? Yes. I'm just in that sort of mood today. Oh, well, if that's the case, I can set my thing aside as a favor to you, I mean. I'm a great listener, so you can feel free to hold nothing back. Tell me absolutely everything. <laughs> Splendid. I shall put on a pot of tea for us at once. Fun, fun, fun for all to see. Gonna sing, 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 and go shopping! Can't wait to see all the folks out there and dance and shake my hair, hair, hair! 
Hello, Princess Tamara. Sounds like you're having fun. <laughs> what tipped you off? I'm actually headed into town. All by yourself? No guards or escorts? Yeah, going incognito. You know, you're more than welcome to come with. Thank you, but I'll pass. I was about to start my daily training regimen. Aw, that's a shame. Would have been fun to hang with Princey D. But he's busy training his body. Hmm. I don't mean to meddle in the affairs of other royals, but... If you have time to sing and dance your way through town, you should have time for training. I don't see those things as mutually exclusive. Besides, spending time with real people? It makes me a better princess. Just like training makes you a better prince. See where I'm coming from? I don't think I do. I train to grow stronger so I can better protect my people. Then we're one in the same. I hang out with folks in town so I can protect them. After all, can't keep someone safe if you don't know who they are. I see. That's an interesting perspective. I'll have to think that one over while I train. Chloe, here to beg me some more, I take it? Sure am. From where did this bizarre love of folk food spring? You grew up in a noble family. Yeah, and all they served me back home was high cuisine. For most people, that would be great. But me, I went to this Fearanese festival one day. I caught this salty, sweet scent from a back alley, so I followed it to find out what it was. That was how you discovered folk food. Yep. Without even thinking, I bought some food from the stall and tried it. It was mind-blowing. The flavor, the smell, the texture. I'd never had anything like it in my life. To the child of a rich family, I see how it could offer some perverse sense of thrill. Sadly, there was no chance my family would let me dine out. And I could forget about folk food. They'd be horrified to know I ever even tasted it. Oh, I see. You couldn't eat it while you lived at home. Not necessarily. Once I had my first taste, I started going out behind my parents' backs. I'd eat the folk food on my Pegasus and get rid of any evidence by tossing the wrappers. Littering, you mean? Yeah, I feel bad about that now. I always take care to toss my trash properly these days. But that's my story in a nutshell. Your passion for food. I recognize it. I hesitate to admit it is much like my own. You have persuaded me. For you, and only you, I will try my hand at making folk food. <gasps> you mean it? But what I cook will be of the highest quality. I cannot cut corners on purpose, so do not complain if it differs from your expectations. No complaints, I promise. Thanks, Bunei. You've made me a very happy lady. Oh, I can't wait to try your first batch of folk food. Why, hello, Chloe. Fancy meeting you here. Hi there, Citrine. I'm just here picking up some lunch. You can only get it at this street stall, but the taste is worth the trip. It's my favorite. Really? If it's as delicious as you say, I'd like to try some for myself. Here, I'll treat you. Excuse me, sir. I'll take everything you have, please. The whole stock? Don't fret about the money. This way, if we have extra, we can share with the others. Thank you for wrapping all of that, sir. Here's a little more gold for your trouble. Huh? Are these? It's folk food. Salt pickled fish guts, in this case. Oh, how, uh, charming. Oh, sorry. I love this stuff, but it might be too much for you to handle. No, no. One mustn't show prejudice toward food without trying it first. Here, Chloe. Your portion. Wow, you're letting me have almost all of it. Thank you so much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have somewhere to be. Must be important. You look pretty serious all of a sudden. It is important. Well, to me it is. Take care. Will do. And thanks for treating me to a heaping helping of my favorite folk food. Here we are, Jean. Your new classroom. A meadow? Why are we here? I don't see anyone who could teach me anything. Look harder, then. 
Um, where? The flowers blooming all around us. They'll be your teachers for today. <laughs> You're kidding, right, sir? Oh, not at all. I'm very serious. You've exhausted yourself, lad, both physically and mentally. Nothing you could read in a book right now will teach you as much as these flowers can. Humor me and take a seat at my side. Okay. If you say so. Now lie back slowly and look up at the sky. Then take a long, deep breath. Okay. <sighs> like that? My goodness, do you hear that? The flowers are whispering to you. They are? I don't hear anything. Hmm. Try relaxing your shoulders more and turning your ears toward them. Um, I still don't hear anything. They smell good, though. And there's a nice breeze in the air. Is that so? Then maybe you should take it all in more fully. I'll do just that. <sighs> Asleep at last, and about time, too. What? You let them take two of our rings? I apologize. See, we... we figured if we stole a couple rings, you'd be proud of us. There's no point stealing theirs if we keep losing ours, you morons! I'm sorry, okay? But Lord Sombron will understand. We're his favorites, after all. He's not gonna scold us for losing a couple rings. Marnie. Yes? <laughs> that hurt! You should have done as I ordered. No more, and no less. I cannot protect you this time. Me? It's your fault we lost the Ring of the Holy Knight! I was following Lady Vale's orders. Do you mean to suggest she is at fault? Well, no, but... I will not make excuses. If punishment is due, give it to me. You? Marnie was merely seeking your praise. I am to blame. I should have stopped her. What a selfless display. To see you show care for a fellow hound. <gasps> I'm touched. Or perhaps you fear what I'll do to Lady Vale if I'm angry. <sighs> Alas, it's too late. I've already cast the spell. What? You promised to wait until our return. I meant to, I really did. But then the defect awoke. I had no choice. And don't speak to me of promises. You have broken your vow to Lord Sombron. As the head of this family, I must punish my children when they misbehave. Punish? What are you gonna do? Marnie, run! I don't think so. Ah! <sighs> Look at that. Both out cold. Seemed painful, too. Stop your salivating. You have work to do, and I'm leaving. What should I do with them? Oh, they'll come crawling back. They have nowhere to be but at my side. I trust you won't be distracted from the task I gave you. Even as they inflict pain upon you, pay attention. There mustn't be the slightest doubt. I know. I've got to see if that loser is Lord Sombron's kid. Here we are. Elusia Castle. Sombron is likely within those walls. Vale, too. Yes. I hope she's safe. But there's a chance she'll face us as an enemy, not a friend. Be vigilant. At the first sign of danger, we should retreat. Oh. What's wrong? Those words. They're Marth's. That's what he told me at the Stenia Cathedral before... 
Before I lost him, we still haven't recovered from our defeat that day. What if it happens again? It won't. We're stronger than ever before. You've really stepped into your role of divinity. You really think so? Yes. That's why I know we'll get the emblems back. That's the highest praise you could give me. <sighs> Let's go. Is Elusia Castle usually this quiet? No. I would at least expect royal soldiers to be standing guard. Maybe Sombron dealt with them. You mean turn them into the corrupted? No. Who needs those boring soldiers when you can have me? Gris. Been a while, Divine One. Welcome. You must be tired after that long journey. Oh, and look, the long lost princess. Got homesick, huh? <sighs> I gotta hand it to you. Two more rings in your pocket. Not bad. But for the complete set, you'll need more. Like this one. The ring of the caring princess. It's the real deal, too. I'll prove it. Celica! I'll give her back. All you gotta do is beat me. What is this? Nothing. What, you think Lord Sombron's gonna show up? It's one against many. We'll crush you. Hmm, you know just what to say. Relax. No one's coming. If I'm wrong, I'll bite off my tongue and choke on my blood. What is this about? You want answers. You'll have to whack them out of me. Fine. I don't know what you're after, but we won't let this chance pass us by. Get ready, Gris. We'll make you give back that ring. Now you're talking. Make me, dragon. Tear me limb from limb from limb. Okay, Leute, meine Token sind angepasst. Wir haben hier totale Finsternis auf der Karte. Wir sehen aber zumindest ein paar Gegner. Hauptsächlich äh, verzerrte, aber auch ein paar Illusia-Soldaten treiben sich hier rum. Unser Ziel ist ganz hier oben. Ich sehe gerade glücklicherweise keinen einzigen Dieb. Könnte sich aber natürlich sehr schnell ändern. Für den Fall der Fälle nehme ich mir, glaube ich, auch mal Teleport mit. So, hab mir jetzt noch eben kurz Teleport ins Inventar gepackt. Let's go. Let's keep the fun going. I'm gonna make you work for it. He vanished. Chris must be using Emblem Celica's power. He's probably hiding in the shadows. Be careful, everyone. Das Nervigste wird hier die Dunkelheit sein. Ich habe Ivy mal mitgenommen für diese Schlacht. So, machen wir hier erstmal Licht. Chris ist direkt hier unten rechts in der Ecke. Okay. Damit hätte ich jetzt nicht gerechnet. Der Penner macht doch gleich 100 Boden Teleport hat nach. Weg mit deiner Axt. So, dich mache ich mal fertig. So, Toron. Den Reiter schalten wir mal aus. Dich können wir mit einem Langbogen angreifen. Durch Mond ein bisschen mehr Damage. So, Chris kriegt jetzt mal den Astersturm ab. So, what's the plan? You gonna stab me, mash me, shred me to ribbons? 
Ich durchschieß dich. Dein Ragnar macht mir halt Angst. Direkt ein Teleport Ragnar einfach. Das ist eine sehr gute Frage. Und in den Crit. Tschüss. Das war die Donnerfaust. Machen wir hier mal das Feuer an. Ist doch alles gleich viel heller. So, die Runde konnte ich nicht viel machen. Falle. Ach, du teleportierst mich zu dir. Okay, da war Gris. Okay. Ich habe hier E. E für aktiviert. Also kommt ruhig ran. Übrigens, danke, dass ihr mich weiter nach vorne holt. Kann ich euch besser verprügeln. Solange ihr keinen Bruch macht, seid ihr keine Gefahr. Okay, den konnte ich nicht mal sehen. Doppelt daneben, Junge. Und A4. So, Panzerbrecher. Tschüss. Groß ist Opfer. Wie auch immer beschädigt ist, wird geheilt. Und sie heile ich instant auch hoch. Guck dir mal meinen Dolch an. Der ist wunderschön in deinem Gesicht. So, Ritter tot auf euch beide. Den Kampftypen ignoriere ich gerade mit Absicht. Daneben. Ja genau, geh auf den Doppelgänger. Doppelgänger sind eine gute Ablenkung. Die, die muss ich auf jeden Fall umnieten. Die Musik hat sich geändert. So, alle erst den Dieb ausschalten. Das hat Vorrang. 
So, du darfst deinen Kollegen direkt folgen. So, Deutsch in dein Gesicht. Aua. Another kill for me. So, Meisterbogen oder Kriegerbogen? Meisterbogen. Äh, hätte ein Krett werden können. Ah, ja, dafür vernichte ich ja jetzt. Übernommen. Spüre meine Donnerfaust. Falle. Ja, toll, der ist fast aufgebraucht. Bringt auch so viel. Ja, mich könnt ihr ruhig ohne Bedenken angreifen. Pechkatz. Was für Junaka. Ansonsten wollte keiner zu mir kommen. Okay, da stehen zwei. So, was sagt denn die Fackel? Hier sind auch nochmal drei Gegner. Dann machen wir dich zuerst weg. Kannst eh nichts. In so einen allmächtigen General besiegt keiner. Zumindest nicht ohne Magie. So, Langbogen auf dich. Und dann mache ich hier direkt die Ader. So, Kunde vorbei. Der mit der Silber Großax macht mir Angst. Ach, lass die Fackel an. Zuerst mache ich dir mal ordentlich Damage. Oder ich kill dich instant. So, dich muss ich instant töten. Du wirst sonst nur zu große Gefahr. Und tschüss. Bitte ein Crit. Ah. 31% Chance. Ja, dich kriege ich wenigstens kaputt. Me first. That's how it's done. So, dich direkt als nächstes. Excuse me. 
did it. So, wer mag meinen Astersturm abbekommen? Ich hab gehört, du. Okay, sie kommen näher. So, was haben wir denn hier in den Truhen? Rettung. Und eine Silberklinge. Hoffentlich kriege ich dich kaputt. Die Chance auf einen Crit besteht zumindest. Ich habe gerade was gelernt. Ich kann in die Ver äh, Dunkelheit keine Doppelgänger rufen. So, vierfach Treffer. So, die Doppelgänger sind da, um alles abzufangen. Einfach doppelter Krit. Ja, doch, bitte Krit war schön. Excalibur. Okay. Wer ist, wenn du ein Crit landest, macht es keinen Damage. Und sie stehen zum Glück alle in der Steinader, die drei dort. Ich habe gesehen, dass die sich da verteidigen, die äh, in Drecksäcke. So, dich zuerst. Tschüss. Mit der meiste Axt bist du einfach gefährlich. Drachenfluch kann ich jetzt auch so bei ihr lernen. So, und du darfst deinem Kumpel folgen. Bin schon gespannt, was in den Kisten dort gammelt. Bei einer werde ich es rausfinden. Die andere kann ich als nächste Runde öffnen. Geheimbuch. Behändigkeit. Okay, was kann denn Excalibur? Oh, das ist ein starker Windangriff. Okay, mit Ivy sollte ich nicht da in die Nähe gehen. Das würde grausig enden. Dann sage ich mal Tschüss. Die muss ich sowieso zuerst ausschalten, sonst kann ich dem Chris gar nicht keinen Schaden drücken. Wir beschützen ihn gerade beide. Ich, ja, ich wusste, dass da noch einer steht. Hier kriege ich jetzt meine Deutsche ab. Mein Pechkatz. So, dein Schutz ist weg. Dann kann ich ja ruhig dich angreifen. Ne, komm, ich äh, vernichte lieber ihn hier zuerst. So, komm her. How do you like to be hurt, Divine One? I'm a people pleaser. Hand over the ring, Gris. <laughs> Ignoring me? Oh, that hurts my feelings. Fine, I'll give you the ring. <laughs> Angus. Now the true battle begins. Oh, Sally, you are all fired up, aren't you? Let loose! <laughs> This feels good. So good. I'm gonna kill you. All of you. 
Okay. Wenn du meinst. Genau, geh auf die Doppelgänger. Da juckt mich das nicht im geringsten. Ach so, Resonanz. Stimmt ja, damit kann man zweimal angreifen. Ganz vergessen, was Celica konnte. Naja, erstmal öffnen wir jetzt hier die Kiste. Ein Kriegerbogen. Könnte ich später Anna geben. So, Toron. Ich kriege dich wahrscheinlich in dieser Runde kaputt. Mit allerhöchster Wahrscheinlichkeit. Du kriegst aber auch massigen Schaden. Vor allem durch seine Fähigkeit kriege ich selber auch Damage, wenn ich ihn angreife. Ja, das macht keinen Unterschied. Zwillingsschlag. Rip. Das war's für dich. Das hat doch irgendeinen Haken. Excalibur nehme ich aber. The ring. We got it back. <lacht> What are you laughing at? Me? Nothing. Better summon her. Want to free her from Lord Sombron's power, don't you? I know. Care for us! Emblem of Echoes! <sighs> I thank you. Emblem Celica, it's such a relief to have you back again. <laughs> 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 oh man, ain't this whole thing just a laugh riot? Sophia, that little hunch of yours was so dead on. I think it's clear you've lost your mind. Look at you acting all high and mighty. It's clear you've lost your mind. Yeah, that's cute. The real question is, have you lost yours? You're playing up this whole thing like you're a god, but you're fighting on the wrong side. Why are you staring at me with that stupid look on your face? You think you're a divine dragon? Let me set you straight. You are the child of the fell dragon! I am his child? No, but how? How dare you utter such slander, such lies! If the dragon doesn't remember it, how the hell would you know anything? Were you there a thousand years ago? Hmm? I'll tell you how I figured it out. Divine and fell dragons can both summon emblems, right? But they don't do it the same way. Divine dragons pray. Fell dragons, though. They use... invocations. <laughs> That's how you summoned Selica. That's how you've done it all along, isn't it? Which means you're... Say it with me. The Fell Dragon's child. But then... I, I don't understand. Why did Mother call me her child? How should I know? You'll have to ask her. Oh, wait. You blackguard! <laughs> Sticks and stones, buddy! Anyway, now I've got what I came for. Too bad it cost me a ring, but I was told to buy time, and I did. Lord Sombron and Lady Vale should be long gone by now. You mean, they were here after all? Whoops. 
Didn't mean for that to slip out. Ah, well. Your divine dragon's a fraud. Take your time falling apart. Will you scatter to the winds? Cut each other's throats? So many options. See ya. Halt! I'm... I'm the foul dragons. He was lying, Divine One. I don't believe a word of it. We can't be divided by the enemy. We must be calm. Saying Sombron isn't here may have been another attempt to mislead us. Let's look around and make sure. Well? This place is well and truly deserted. Yes. Sombron is no longer in the castle. What should we do now? Uh, if what Gris said is true, I should leave. What do you mean, leave? The night Mother died, I had a nightmare where I was surrounded by flames. My hair and eyes were red. Now I see. It wasn't a nightmare. It was a memory. One bad dream doesn't prove anything. Maybe not. But this will. Emblem Sigurd. I am here. You knew me a thousand years ago, didn't you? Answer this. Was Gris telling the truth? Am I the Fell Dragon's child? <laughs> you are. <laughs> How can this be? So it's true. I apologize. With your memories lost, we thought you could be happy living this way. That is what Lumera and I agreed upon the day you awoke. Why did Mother call me her child? Sombron had turned his back on you. Your life was in danger. Both you and Lumera wished above all else to be a family. That is the fullness of my knowledge. That's plenty, Sigurd. Thank you. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm not a divine dragon. I never was. You have nothing to apologize for. Only a divine dragon could imprison Sombron as Mother did. What chance do we have now of surviving this war? Without such power, there's no hope of stopping Sombron. Why would you assume you lack the power of a divine dragon? <laughs> you have fell dragon blood, yes. But you forget your own abilities. Think back to Flora Port, when my ring was returned and you summoned me. But I used an invocation. Emblem summoned through a fell dragon's power cannot communicate. Uh... Think back upon Emblem summoned with a fell dragon's power. Could they speak? No. When I called out to them, they didn't answer. Please, explain further, Sir Sigurd. A fell dragon's invocation robs an emblem of their free will. Their service is compulsory. With a prayer, the emblem keeps their free will. A divine dragon would wish nothing less. You use both invocation and prayer. You mean... I do have the power of a divine dragon? Precisely. Your hair and eyes prove the fact eloquently. At one time, both were red. The blue is proof that through Lumera's love, you have inherited a divine dragon's power. Lumera shortened her life so that you could succeed her as the divine dragon. Mother. We emblems fight alongside you of our own volition. We could only deepen our bonds with you because you have the power of a divine dragon. You are the one intended to carry on Lumera's legacy. Will you still leave after hearing this? Is that your wish? No. I want to stay. I can't change that I'm the Fell Dragon's child. I know that, but... I would like to continue on. As the Divine Dragon. If he will have me. Of course we will! <sighs> Alfred. Sure, first we came to you because we needed your help. But now I care about you. Fell or divine or whatever else. We need you. So no more talk about leaving us. We'd never have made it this far without you. I will follow wherever you lead. If you have only half of your power, so be it. We'll make up for the other half. What matters to me isn't how you were born. It's what you do with the life you're given. 
If you choose to live as a divine dragon, then that's what you are. Conflicted as I might be, I am made resolute by the terror I feel at losing you. Because, to me, you are the divine dragon. Your leaving would not change that bond. Everyone agrees. After all, you are what connects them. You are, and always shall be, the divine dragon. Thank you, everyone. There's much I don't know. I may have made choices in the past that I can't take back. But for now, I'll continue on this journey with you. We emblems will follow you. Completely of our own free will. Ich hab endlich mein Geld. <lacht> das erste, was ich sage nach dieser Sequenz. Das, äh, also das war jetzt schon eine Überraschung mit äh, dem Kind von Zombron. Aber auch von Lumera so gesehen. Das, das war eine sehr starke Überraschung. Naja. Nichtsdestotrotz würde ich sagen, machen wir hier jetzt für heute Schluss. Die ganzen Gespräche hier, die gönne ich beim nächsten Mal, weil hier sind einige besondere. Ich sage einfach mal, wenn es euch gefallen hat, Leute, den letzten Abo und ein Like da. Und ich würde sagen, wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ciao und bis dann.